Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. We're in set 7 PBE day 4, I want to say. And we're playing Dragon Man, or not Dragon Mancer, uh, Rage Wing. We just got a thing called Scorch. Every fifth instance of Rage Wing Champion's damage deals 75% more damage that's converted to true damage. Pretty cool, actually. Pretty darn cool. And we just got a Zaya. So, let's go ahead and throw in six Rage Wing. And I'm trying to decide which items I want on her and which items I want on Swain. We're going to pop those two items off of her. Zaya definitely gets the Rage Blade. Then Swain gets the Shoujin. Zaya gets IE. And I think I'll move that Death, Defi yeah, Death Defiance over to Zaya as well eventually. For now, we'll just throw on Dragon Claw to make him a little tankier, but we're definitely going to lose this one, but that's fine. I'm not too fussed about that. We'll probably need to roll for a little bit, but eventually we're going to put Diana back in. But Diana... Kane does more damage than Senna. So I think I'll swap out Tristana or Diana, at least for now, to give that assassin bonus. Oh, there's another Rage Wing, actually. That allows us to make that swap. Beautiful. Death Defiance on Zaya. We'll do Dragon Claw on Hecarim. Could not have worked out better, to be honest. Uh, that actually means we can just kind of level, I think. If I get level 8 and I find Shivana, I can run 9 Rage Wing. I would just have to drop the Diana. But I think 9 Rage Wing would definitely be worth it. Oh my god, Zaya. You're just bonkers, aren't you? Nothing Holy cow. Really Four seconds, whenever Zaya attacks, she fires a feather behind her target. We're one of the first picks I should probably pay attention. Um, something for Swain, I think. I would have loved the sword. I'm actually going to grab the Bard if I can get it, I think. Yeah. I might run Bard... ...over Diana to stack Legendary Chance. So we have a better chance at finding... ...Shivana. I think that's honestly probably the play. Do something like this for positioning. I don't think there's any chance that we see Tristana in play again. And I don't think there's really any chance we see Diana in play again either. We're close to three-starring Kane. Maybe we should try to do that before we level up. We do have 60 health, so that's probably enough health to do that. Oh, she didn't get a chance to recall her feathers. Close. Yeah, let's slow roll, see if we can get level 2 Zaya and level 3 Swain. And then we'll push 8 and roll down after... after Treasure Dragon. Sacrifice. I mean, that was really good, actually. Cool. Alrighty. And we're fighting Git Gromped, who is running Rebel Cannoneers, which is currently the meta build because it's a little OP. So we'll probably get stomped pretty hard here. We'll see. Yep, yep, we got stomped pretty hard. Uh, Cannoneer and Rebel are a little bit overtuned at the moment. But I think they're going to nerf it, so it's fine. 
All right, we're on Treasure Dragon. We can re-roll these as many times as we want. I don't like that one. We could make Hecarim very hard to kill. We could give a lot of extra damage to Shivana. Or Swain. Or both. Let's take that. I'm pretty happy with those. For now, we're going to stack them on Swain. Uh, IE doesn't do anything for Swain, does it? Certainly does for Kane, though. And we're going to have a three star of him soon enough. There's the Rage Wing Zaya. Nice. Or two star Zaya, rather. Okay, we're fighting Kedar. Kedar is running Mage Bruiser Astral Guild. We're basically Mage Comp. It's fairly strong, but I think Zaya still wins. Nope, just kidding. We got slapped. Alright, so we definitely need to go all in pretty soon here. We are losing repeatedly. And the question becomes okay, no longer question. Let's say it's worth looking for the cane still, but we found it. So, uh, we naturally leveled as well. Interesting. You know what would be really interesting? Double bard. Let's roll and look for Shivana. Okay. Bye, bard. Well, it gives us 9 Rage Wing, which is 250% attack speed and 80% Omni Vamp. Hopefully, that's enough. Certainly gives Zaya the time to ramp up that she needs. I think we pivot the Dragon's Claw onto Shivana. Let me read what she actually does, but I think she's like a tank damage dealer combo. So she's got a stun when she transforms. She has max health damage. Okay, so she's actually a straight up damage dealer more than a tank, but she does have a lot of health, so she's also a tank. I think I'm actually going to pivot the items from Swain onto her. Because I want her to get off her ability a little bit quicker. So I think it'll do quite a bit of damage, especially if I'm able to star her later. And also I just want her to get off the stun early enough that other things are still alive. In order to give enough time for Zaya to pop off. So that was the Cannoneer person. Um, and he's actually getting beat somehow. Huh. Someone's figured something out that's really strong. Legend Whispers combo. Mirage and Warrior. Mirage is Pirate's Greed this time. So what is this Legend's Whisper thing he's got going on? Interesting. Oh, that's actually really strong. Huh? Oh shit. Talking mushrooms. I should have probably grabbed that Hextech Gunblade. But I was looking at his call. This is fine though. Seraphs is good for Shivana as well. Seraphs would also be good for uh, Swain. We're going to put it on Shivana. 
And let's roll all the way down. Not very fast at it yet. There we go. Found one of the things I needed. We might get a three star Zaya. Or Zaya got smoked there, though. Everyone got smoked before they could do anything. What the heck? My Shivana didn't even transform. And he's got stunned for an eternity. That's problematic. We need to find two stars of Shivana. My sound just cut out in the game. That's kind of weird. Almost up to a three star Swain. Let's give up on Zaya. Nada. That's too bad. We're close to 3-star Swain, close to 3-star Senna, close to 2-star Shivana. Why can't I not see my unit's health bars? That's weird. There we go. That was buggy. Okay. Not a great item. We're probably going to reforge that. Yeah, we're, we're going to almost certainly reforge that item. That would made top four, so that's good. This will give us a break point of interest. Zephyr, huh? Okay. Not the best. Not the worst. Three star Swain. swap quick enough. He repositioned quite well. Oh, thank God I was able to defend against that. That was really close and very, very spooky. Oh no, it's Yasuo. She actually loses as soon as he casts his ability. Yep. Damn. He's an auto win champ in a 1v1. Well, I mean, that was still kind of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that play out. It was kind of weird, but yeah, it was a fun one. Like, favorite, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.